Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you part two of my wardrobe room. There was a few things that I needed to do in here. There was a lot of stuff that needed to be emptied and a few pieces of furniture that needed to be built final touches, some storage, organisation, things that I've bought to put up. So yeah, I thought I would do the final touches and then do like a little bit of a room tour at the end. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're interested to see it, then just continue to watch. So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do new videos on this channel every week. I do hauls, lifestyle, fashion, but I also do a lot of like DIY and things around the house. Basically my channel is me in the channel. I like to share things. I like to try and do things on a budget and share like bargains with you. Um, and today I'm going to be doing a tour of my wardrobe room. Now I'm sitting in a bit of a mess but there's a reason for that. So this video is kindly sponsored by Decenio. I'm so excited every time I work with Decenio because they are one of the first brands that I ever worked with when I started my YouTube channel. They took a chance on me and they're amazing. I've worked with them ever since. If you don't know who Decenio are, they are a Swedish company that sells Scandinavian wall art and they have so many prints. They get new prints every single month. So this month they've got like the spring summer 23 trends. They've got collections such as the Lovers in the Air collection and the Mindful Art collection. So you head over to the website. It's really really easy to use. They've also got a gallery wall tour which I rave about every time and I always do this so you can see how your prints will actually look on your wall. What's also awesome is if you can't, inv if, not, if you're not very good at envisaging envisaging is that the word envisioning envisaging envisaging um what your wall art will look like it's great because they have set gallery walls that are already done so you can just like add gallery wall to basket which makes it so so easy and yeah i'm just pleased to be working with them again as always they've given me an amazing code which is dudley and if you use the code dudley you get 45 percent off all the prints it does exclude personalized prints it always has done but this code will run till the 30th of april at one minute to midnight so make sure if you do want anything from decenio to use my code and yeah thank you to decenio for working with me again um i am it's come at the right time because i've got a couple of prints for in here which i'm going to show you me putting up and this is going to be like a final touches of the wardrobe guys so it's a fair few days later emptied all of the cube unit so this i'm thinking to put down into the garage and um, so it's all behind me a lot of the stuff majority of it's gone up into the loft this is still stuff to be organized it looks more than there is but i've also like some charity and stuff and then i've got a box to go up into the loft and then a couple more things to go upstairs. So we get in there, like that was all heaving up that corner. So I've managed to reduce a lot of it. I'm gonna dismantle this cube unit now, put that to one side and then get my desk down. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town. Like so many times before we look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars, like so many times before, and I know that we're not perfect. Okay, so the desk is in, really, really pleased with how it looks, I'll just put that mirror there for the time being, but I have just unboxed, so these I think I showed you in a haul recently, were some shelves that I bought from um, Amazon and they are so nice they are like these acrylic shelves i actually saw them in the nail bar um and i thought they looked really nice but now i don't know where to put them so this on this wall i'm thinking of putting a mirror so they could actually go on the side of this wardrobe here because they would fit really nice on there or i could actually put them behind the door here on the wall but actually no the door might knock them actually haven't they Although they would look pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know where to put them on that wall or on this wall. I just thought on there I could put makeup on and they would look really nice. They're actually really good. You can act you can either um, screw them into the wall or these ones came so they come with either raw plugs, but these ones have got like these sticky back things and then you just put the shelf I think. <laughs> into those little you put the shelf into there and then you put like the little nuts on 
So it comes with a set of three. I think they're about £25. So I'm just going to oil them up on this. I think I am going to put them on there because obviously that's a spare section and I think it would look quite nice. So let me have a look on. Okay, you have to leave those on for eight hours to like set apparently so i'm following this little instruction um and then it says wait eight hours and then you can put the shelves on so i'm just gonna get all as much as i can get them squidged as much as possible leave those to set overnight and then i'll put the shelves on Hey guys, so my Desenio prints have arrived. Um, really excited because these are, I've got some in for in this wardrobe room to finish the room off. So I'm gonna get them out and show you. I've also ordered some for my mom because she's redoing her living room. So I'll share which ones I got for her. But I also picked up some for my hallway because I had mirrors in there before and, and like a picture frame and I didn't like them, so I wanted to change them. So I've ordered some frames for in there as well. So in my hallway and in the living room, I've got this size, which is the 50 by 70. Um, so I've got two more frames for those. I think I've raved about the frames before. I do love the frames from Desenio. I just feel like they're such good quality, but they're also not glass, which is great because you can hang them up with command strips, which is also really good if like, you're renting a, a place because you don't want to be like hammering nails into the wall. So the fact that the picture frames themselves are really light is really good because then you don't have to use, like say, hard fixings. Um, so yeah, I've got, I picked up some frames and I got the prints. So I'll show you what prints I've got. Um, I got some similar to the ones that I've got downstairs which are the reeds um, but I'm going to show you which ones my mum's picked actually because she picked some really pretty ones she picked this one which is I think called reeds by the beach which I really liked um, she also ordered this one which is like a full print so it hasn't got the white frame around it that was the one that went with it. That's another Reeds by the Beach. I do love these ones. I just feel like they're so, they can just go anywhere. I really like those. And then she also picked up this one, which oh, I love. I love a good animal, like a giraffe animal print. But yeah, those are the ones that my mom picked up for her living room or for her house. So I am so glad that I can get those for her and then the couple that I picked up for this room so I already have actually I'll show you a blossom print and what they do on Desenio is they do like like pairs like pair this with or they have like blossom one blossom two blossom three and so I got these which are going to go up in this room which are the two blossom prints so I can't wait to put them up and show you I've got the other one so I'm gonna see if the three look nice or the two but I thought if I got the pair then I can decide what I want to do anyway and anyway these are the ones that I've got for the hallway so they are very similar to the ones that I've got downstairs they're just very very simple and plain reed posters and these are gonna go as I say on the landing not the hall the landing pull them in now and then I'll show you what they look like on the wall but all the fun times we had I'll never forget we will always share
so this is the wardrobe area which has got basically all the clothes in um mats is round this side mats goes round there and then mine is it's turning from the ring light now it's all round here so let me just oh i don't even know where to start let's start over here so these boxes are all like my actual glow up gift boxes that seem to fit perfectly and then i cricketed all the different things on so that i know what is in them i just thought it looked really neat i've put things up here that i don't really so when it says trainers those are like trainers that i don't really wear that often then we've got like summer shoes swimwear summer i've got my suit because <laughs> i don't really need one anymore but i thought i would keep one ball gowns and it goes around here and then i haven't labeled these yet but these are like festive so all christmas stuff then this shelving unit was from amazon i've done like my video on the wardrobe room anyway but this is more for like the storage um for around here from the sunglasses i use these little hooks these silver hooks i got from amazon i use them all the time i have them everywhere throughout the house i just think they're really really useful they're just 3m tape they stick on but they stick on well so matt's got his up there because i can't reach and i've got mine down here that little pot there is from b&m if anybody's wondering i think it's about i want to say it was about nine pounds um and then down across here i've got some so these baskets are from amazon and then these shoe things that i've used so these are actually drawer dividers um and i do have them in some of the drawers um but they were from roof.com i've got the link somewhere i'll link them below if i remember um but i just use them in here so that i can double up the shelving unit so i have like my everyday um gym trainers on the bottom and then some train more trainers and then these are the only real going going out shoes that i tend to wear the see-through ones they go with everything and I, when i do all my try-ons i wear these ones which are a bit battered now they're from primark um but they just tend to go with everything so i use those and then these drawers haven't actually got much in at the moment they've got like overflow of um beauty stuff that i need to like sort out like i've got my hair tools in this one but these aren't really organized yet these are kind of like overflow at the moment and then these ones are where all like my proper clothes are so i've got like jeans organized in there tops organized in there and then here you see i've used some of those dividers so these are like more stringy tops and stuff um i've tried to kind of have like a capsule wardrobe so i keep all my coats in the end there and then what I do is I keep majority of my clothes in the drawer and then I get out what I'm wearing in that season. So it's a bit difficult in the UK at the moment because what is the weather like? But I've got like all my jackets, everyday tops, like t-shirts, a couple of hoodies. I've got like my cycling short sets. I got them out the other day because it's getting a bit warmer now. These are like legging sets that aren't gym. <laughs> I've still got loads to do. I have got some stuff in the wash as well. Um, and then up this corner, Matt's coats are up there. And I got these coat bags from Shein Home. They were five for about £10. But I just like to keep those suits in there so at least they look like more aesthetically pleasing. And then down the corner, I managed to get six of these baskets from Amazon. They're plastic, um, but they have like all my, like my nail stuff, my hair dyeing stuff, um, yeah things like that in those boxes so they can keep them in there and then this is like my gym section so i have got some boots and trainers up there that i wear in the winter and then these are all my everyday gym kind of wear and hoodies and then i do have like overflow of gym stuff down there this is like underwear and pajamas i do still have way too many even though i decluttered i still do have loads to go through um but that's kind of like the wardrobe area over there the only other clothes thing are my hats my caps which are up there again also on those stainless steel hooks like it's like i say i think they're brilliant look I use them for mats as well so yeah he's got his shoes across the top and his is all nice and neat as well I'm sure you don't mind you me showing you his sock drawer these are where i used a lot of the um wooden things so that i can just like do his underwear neatly uh yeah so that's that section so this is like my favorite section of the room now um i've got this mirror on the wall i had this from an antique fair years and years ago i think i paid like 50 pound for it and it, i just absolutely love it actually one of the first things i ever bought for this house um and it stood the test of time it's been on a fair few walls to say the least 
Um, and then on here, here is my acrylic shelves that I got from um, Amazon. Again, I will link everything below. Um, but I've just done these with like my nice looking makeup, if that makes sense. So some of these I do wear every day, but I thought I would do like a shelf of skincare across the top, um, my iconic shelf, and then my um, eyeshadow palettes, and then my Giorgio Armani. So this is actually like a new one. I've got one in my drawer already. So yeah, I really like how they turned out because it just adds something to like that side of the wardrobe where there's just nothing there. And then moving across here, this Ottoman is from, it's from Aldi, it was 19.99. That is also full of crap at the moment that I've got to get through, but you know, it's concealed for the moment. Um, that little chest under there is actually from uh, Home Sense. I'd, again, something I've had years. But it's actually my medicine cabinets where all my kids' medicine, my medicine, um, it's just got first aid kits, things like that. Um, that is under there and it's got like a padlock on to keep it away from the kids. And then this is my desk from Ikea. And inside, um, it is pretty organised, um, as you will have seen. Now, I do have some more little bits come in to do this drawer and um, like I want to make all my serums nice and matching um, but I've tried to keep everything kind of aesthetically pleasing as I can and this is just like everyday makeup so in here so um, everyday makeup everyday hair stuff deodorant and things so I've tried to just keep this very minimal and then all my like overflow in another drawer just so it doesn't get overrun of stuff um, if you remember, this is one of my old dining chairs. I recovered the seat a couple of videos ago into like a cream suede. So that goes nice in here. This is my little Shein bargain. If you I absolutely love this. And then I've got my little drawer dedicated to my lashes. Um, and then I've just got like my brushes in the top. Um, I just really like this because it keeps certain things on the top. So I've got more room in the drawer. But it also doesn't look a mess. So I really, really love that. And then over here we've got the Decenio prints. I am so, so pleased with how these look and how these have turned out. Um, so this was the print that I already had and then they had brought these ones out. So let me show you close. So this one is White Blossom. Well, they both say White Blossom. This says No Rain, No Flowers. And then that is like a close-up of that one almost. And then this one just says um bloom with grace which is actually really quite ironic because that was a name i was going to call my podcast at one point because my middle name's grace <laughs> so i thought that was very you know apt but yeah i love how they've turned out i think they're lovely on the wall and i'm so glad i picked up oak frames um because i just think that contrasts really nice so yeah there's nothing else in here really i've got my little vase that's a cherry shop bargain with some pampas grass from home bargains in and then i will show you in this corner um i've got my mirror that's like my jewelry mirror so i actually had this from costway um i think it was, was it last year or a couple of years ago if i can open it it's locked if i had that um i think a couple of years ago now so that's got like all my jewelry in it all my accessories um I don't know where I'm going to put this yet because uh, it doesn't fit very well there behind the door with that leg and it used to be over there but obviously I put the shelves up so I'm not sure with that we, that might have to be moved up to the loft at the moment but it's just there for now. Yeah so this rail is actually a kitchen rail for utensils and stuff from Ikea but I just command stripped this on and this mainly is for when I like do reels and stuff so I can hang the clothes on here so it's probably not going to be good for like a lot of weight. But with those command strips on, it'll still hold like a couple of items that I need to take photos. I thought this is actually a really good idea if you sell anything on like vintage and stuff. It's just on a blank wall. So once this is moved, obviously, I can take um, photos on there. And then again, a couple more stainless steel hooks on this wall. As you can see, I love the hooks. Um, but yeah, that is the wardrobe room. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, it's just a really nice functional space because this room, when we had it as a bedroom, was just way too small. It wasn't way too small, just when you put a bed in it, you literally didn't have enough room. So utilising this room for a wardrobe now is just so much better.
guys thank you so so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and again thank you to decenio for working with me again i really do appreciate it if you do head over and shop at decenio please don't forget to use my code dudley to get your 45 percent off up until the 30th of april at one minute to midnight so thank you so much for watching if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care